Sunny and hot once again, so the good place to be is out on South Padre Island. In fact, look there. I think that might be Marco. No, wait, Marco's in here. No, that's not him. I would have thought that was you otherwise. Yeah. You know, because that's how Marco be, rolls. If I was be here today, you bet I'd be over there. <laughs> yeah, I'd be out there. <laughs> but looking good. A lot of folks setting up along the beaches again today. So, again, a great place to escape. And I'm sure a lot of families still trying to get a lot of that beach time in before we have to go back to school, which unfortunately for some, <laughs> going to be right around the corner. Uh, there is your upper level high. That's that heat dome continuing over the southwestern U.S. And that is broad, pretty broad. It goes all the way up into California, Nevada, Utah, Colorado, <laughs> New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma. It goes covers a lot. It even goes out, out towards Mississippi and Louisiana and Alabama as well. So uh, this is going to be sticking around. It may actually even push a little bit further towards the east over the coming days, which is not good for Texas, as that means we have even more of that high pressure really uh, coming down on us. And so the temperatures are really not expected to change much. Now, the hope is that as we get into Saturday, Sunday and Monday, the high pressure will retreat a little bit, weaken somewhat, and that would help to get the sea breeze going. We saw that a couple weeks ago. Didn't produce a lot of rain for everybody, but at least it was some, and it did give us a brief break from the heat, and I think that's about the only thing we have going for us right now as far as any hope. So there is your heat index values this afternoon, the highest numbers mainly across the lower valley, and that's where we do have the heat advisory in effect from uh, 1 o'clock until 7 o'clock this evening. Tomorrow, expecting the same type of deal, and again, these numbers are going to be elevated all the way through the weekend and early next week, and even with those small rain chances, because there's sea breeze, most of us are still going to be seeing all that sunshine and hot conditions unless things change where the rain chances go up a little bit. Right now, they're pretty isolated. 98 Brownsville this afternoon, but otherwise 100 to 106 inland. Looking at those temperatures near 90 degrees as you go out towards the island. Plenty of sunshine. Winds out of the south southeast at about uh, 20 to 25 miles per hour. And there's the heat advisory. So again, it's for Cameron and Willacy counties, including the coastal areas, but does not include South Pottery Island this time around. So Pretty much the entire state, once again, there's a couple of areas down here in deep south Texas, also just the northwest of Amarillo around Dalhart, that are not in any advisories, but the entire state, with the exception of right along the coast, are looking for triple digit numbers this afternoon. So the heat is on and will continue to be seeing these type of uh, scenarios as we go through the coming days. 104 San Antonio this afternoon, 109 Lubbock, 106 Fort Stockton, 107 Dallas, 100 Houston. Wow, uh, this is uh, not exactly typical for July still because these numbers are way above normal. 90 degrees on the island today, surf running 83 degrees, 2 to 3 feet. And out on the, as far as a wellness forecast, tree mold and grass, light ragweed is in the moderate category. And that uh, air quality is still in the moderate range. And that is because of that dust that continues to move across the Atlantic. And that's going to keep the tropical situation pretty quiet. We still have Don up there, but Don's not going to be doing anything for us. There's your seven-day forecast. And so there's those isolated rain chances only at 20%. That's going to be for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So not real optimistic, but... The hope is, is that we get just enough of that weakening of that high pressure out there to get those uh, rain chances kind of coming along and hopefully then we can see those temperatures maybe reduce a little bit, but right now still hot. For the weekend, do not cancel your weekend plans. No need, but hey, fingers crossed someone yeah. might get lucky with some rain.